Hey guys, Brad Hawthorne with the new Eye Candy Plastics from Northland Tackle. The stretchy stuff right there, and that is called? Yeah, it's our new Eye Candy series. Uh, so we got a bunch of, bunch of shapes in it that we'll be going over later. But uh, it is the best material to make plastics for walleyes out of, and that's exactly what we did. All of the plastics we designed, specifically with the walleye angler in mind, uh, and me and Brad are gonna go through some of the features of this material here, uh, which which makes it the best for Wally. So, starting off, Brad showed it right off the bat, it's the, the stretch and durability of it. Like, it, this this minnow, three and a half, four inch minnow, will stretch over two feet. That is crazy yeah. durable. Exactly, and they're, they're literally hard to break. Um, that equals into durability with, you know, you got toothy predators, predators like walleye. Um, if, if you, uh, use these lures, especially if you super glue them onto your jigs. Yeah. Uh, they literally turn into more of like a, a lure than a soft plastic. It's no longer a disposable item where you're running through bags and bags. Brad, as a guide, uh, how many plastics are you running through using a, a traditional PVC bags? So if we're, let's say we're on, we're fishing walleyes with Ned rigs or something like that. We will. I, it's not uncommon, especially I have two or three anglers in the boat that will go through two or three bags a day. But when you're talking with this material, I'm going through one lure if we don't lose it. So that there's the there's the savings, and there's like it's really not even the savings. It's that they catch more fish. Yeah, and that that'll bring us to our second point. So that's that's a characteristic of this material, but it's really not the main reason it's the best. Uh, the reason it's the best is its action and flotation. So it, you can see again with the stretching flexibility of this, it, it's hard to get it to stop moving. Yes. Uh, in the water, these things look incre incredible. The most lifelike thing you're gonna get besides live bait, you know, and then a lot of times it shines over live bait. So it, they're constantly moving, um, constantly wiggling. It, it's dragging, ripping, uh, it's just amazing action. And the other characteristic of it is it actually floats. Yeah. So as this falls to the bottom, your jig head will actually stand up because this material is super buoyant um, and will cause lift in the jig. I actually tend to like to use a jig size up a little bit than I would traditionally use because it has that much lift in the water. That's a great, a great point. So with when you're counteracting a quarter ounce jig with a floating bait, sometimes you do have to add that extra six eighth to it, like go to three, three eighths or whatever. The point to that is what I like to throw in there is, what does the jig do after the pause, right? Everyone says jig pause, but what does it do? It lays on the bottom flat, gets snagged, does whatever. With this, what happens after the pause? It floats up, it adds that extra layer of, what's your jig doing when you're doing nothing? Exactly. Another characteristic it has um, is its clarity. Um, yeah. the, the base raw material of it is ultra clear. The one Brad's got is kind of a clear pattern on it. And what that allows us to do is add dyes and flex uh, that come out with with colors that you just can't achieve in like a traditional PVC. So we got a bunch of supernatural colors in there that match your shiner minnows, your sucker minnows, your live forage or natural forage and the like. Uh, but we also have some super bright, um, you know, attracting colors like your chartreuses and your oranges. Uh, so really unique colors you're gonna get with this material. The one other thing to point out is for all you walleye guys that like scent, this material a lot of people doesn't, don't think it absorbs scent very well. It's completely opposite. This material, if you spray a little scent in there, will absorb it overnight. So for all you guys who are like, hey, I like adding a little bit of scent or whatever, go ahead and put it on here. It will absorb it. It'll stay in the lure for weeks. Go ahead and do it. Feel free. It is literally like a sponge. And that's another thing. Again, a traditional PVC style bait, a lot of the baits that are out there, they won't absorb any scent. If you put scent on them, they'll stay on the surface, but it won't absorb. These new TPE baits actually soak it in. Um, you can grab a bait or bag of baits, like Brad said, spray scent in there, and it'll look all wet and, and slimy. Come back the next morning, and that bag will actually have dried up because the baits are absorbing scent. So, uh, and as they absorb it, as you put them in the water, same thing, they start to admit it. It's just like put, soaking something up with a sponge and rinsing it off later. So, and that's exactly what the wallies are after. I think guys find that out after they've used this material for yeah. a few years. That's kind of like when you get into upper echelon of why you use this material, scent is, is one of those one of those characteristics. Yeah. One thing to mention here, so they are unscented as the package, so you have to add your, your favorite aftermarket scent. Uh, we could recommend uh, oil-based or water-based scents. It, it works with most of those materials, but definitely try out your scent uh, on a, a piece of it before you go all in. A solvent-based scent uh, will actually kind of chew through the material, so you want to make sure your scent works with it, but most oil and water-based scents work. Uh, that kind of leads us into our, our a final housekeeping thing is 
uh, the storage of this material. So it, it's unique, it's stretchy, but with that, uh, it can cause some damage. So you don't want to store these plastics uh, with your traditional PVC plastics or even in a, a plastic tackle box. We highly recommend uh, you store them in the original packaging. That way they won't harm anything. Um, it's the best way to do it. So just keep them in the package. You won't have any problems, but yeah, it's an awesome bait. They catch a bunch of fish, so. So now we went through a bunch of different things, how to store it, whatever. Now let's talk about these shapes. Now, I really like the shapes with these are walleye shapes. They're literally little walleye snacks and like right there is going to be one of your minnow imitations right there. And yes, that is a paddle tail on the back of there. Yeah, the paddle shad, uh, it's my favorite shape in, in the bunch and it's actually the one that we have the most colors in. Uh, it's, it's just a fish catcher. You can jig it, you can drag it, you can put it behind a rig. Um, it just catches fish. So yeah, nice little finesse paddle tail on there, constantly moving in awesome shape. The, and then we have two crawlers. Yep. Two crawler versions. I'm really excited about the crawlers in this material has never really gotten a lot of play. And I wish we had one here, but literally this one, you put it on a spinner and you're talking processing hundreds of fish. On exactly. Everyone that's crawler fish for walleye knows that all you're doing is yeah. getting dirt all over your boat and getting dirt underneath your fingernails. And now to be able to put one crawler on for literally a week is kind of nice. Exactly. And, and crawler guys know, yeah, all the hardcore crawler guys have a, a worm blower in there. Yep. But that's the, the beauty of this material is it floats. Mm -hmm. So no more need to mess with that. Um, I find it's a, a great material to fish with like younger anglers. Pair this behind your butterfly blade. Yep. Um, when you're stopping and pausing, that bait is suspending. It's not falling in the bottom, so you're not getting snags. Um, it, it's just an awesome material to rig with. And then we also have a jig crawler version. So yep. that's a little shorter. It has a little bit more meat up front, so it hooks on a jig good. Um, you can use it on a drop shot, just a, a really versatile, uh, short little three inch shape on that. You guys that like the Ned rig walleyes? That is a huge, play. it's going to be, once you see you're gonna go boom, that's Ned Rake Walleye, is what, exactly what everyone's gonna think. And then uh, we have two more minnow shapes. So we have a four inch and a three inch smelt minnow. That's just your standard, you know, straight tail minnow. Uh, again, awesome shape for walleye. It's got a really fast fall to it. Uh, long tail, it's lots of action. Fork that's flat, so it catches the water as it swims. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a grub. And the grub is just a little finesse grub, uh, but that, has the most action when you're keeping it still in the water. That tail is constantly flapping and waving and it looks unbelievable. So we're super excited about these shapes. Uh, we've been catching a bunch of fish on them in the testing and yeah, we can't wait to get them out there. So when you see these in the stores, take a look at them and the only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna bait less, you're gonna catch more fish and they're gonna be far more durable.